What we do is we are making 100% eco-friendly paper. Yes, 100% post-consumer paper without adding 1% of pulp, of a wood pulp also, or without cutting a single tree. We are making paper without any emissions, no byproducts, no chemicals being used to de the paper or any hard, harsh chemicals. Our unique process is we take waste paper and we take white cotton. We get it from the hospitals, the old, yeah, uniforms, uh, used uniforms from the hotels. We get the towels, the bed sheets. We pulp them. We pulp this cotton separately. We pulp the waste paper and then we mix them in my unique process. People love when they feel the texture of the paper. They feel that, yeah, this is recycled paper and this is done in the most eco-friendly manner. And, I, and we show the plant. Like as you've seen the plant, we show the plant to people and in front of them we make the paper. It's like fresh from the bakery, you know, you get a bread, fresh bread from the bakery, we say fresh paper from the oven. You can so get the paper at one side and we cut it and the, convert it into other a small dome. So you can actually enter this factory with a raw material and walk out with a finished product. The first factory in the world to do it. Yes, the texture is a bit different, the color is a bit different, but people love it. So far, I haven't found anybody saying, oh yeah, paper is no good, we don't like it. Anybody who says the saying is unbelievable, amazing, and we love it. That's the word we use everywhere we hear that word. Whenever I go for presentations, wherever like, people have used this paper, they all want more and more. First, the paper comes in rolls. Then those rolls have to be converted into smaller rolls. Then we put them on the sheeters. So we cut them into sheets to convert them into different products. So these sheets we sell to the envelope makers and they convert them into envelopes locally itself again. I told you my whole business is locally. So we create like jobs for so many people. We have about 100 people in our company. We're making all different kinds of stationery and as we are growing, we just, whatever people ask us, we make it. But at this time, we are having photocopying paper, uh, all different sizes of photocopying paper. We have uh, letterheads, we have business cards, we have envelopes of different sizes, different uh, grades or different types of windows, non-windows. We have writing pads, we have small paper cubes. But as people require, we just make them because it's all done locally. So we can produce whatever somebody asks us. You know, uh, the city of Edmonton has leased at seven acres of land and in the Edmonton Waste Management Center, which is a world-class facility. So being a part of this world-class facility itself is a pride for everybody who are here. Now, when I first came here, I thought of a normal building like a square or a rectangular structure. But then when I saw the first winters, I said, no, wow, I need a structure which is energy efficient. And uh, you would not believe that the big dome, which is 50,000 square feet, has uh, been built in eight weeks by six people. And the cost of it is negligible compared to a normal building. And it took only 46 minutes to inflate this big dome. And this is, domes are so energy efficient. Like, I don't think any other building here has R64 insulation value. Going and developing relations with uh, consumers, that is like each consumer becomes like uh, joining the loop. They are recycling themselves and I'm just helping them to recycle. So they are using me as a catalyst to achieve their own goals. It is a win-win for everybody. It's a win for the environment, trees not to be cut. It's win for the uh, local people that they are using their local material. And it's a win for the government that the local jobs have been created. They get more taxes and revenues uh, from the public. So it's a win-win for everybody and then we are saving on the transportation. You don't have to actually recycle your paper, sending the paper all the way to east and then getting it recycled and bringing it back, saving on the cost of transportation. We do it locally. So it's like uh, Abraham Lincoln said, the government for the people, by the people, with the people. We have this paper, which is paper with the people, by the people and for the people.